Hi everybody, Keith Best here once again, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at the city's shortcode. Now, the city shortcode previously was just inside with all the other shortcodes, but it's had such a huge revamp since um, version six that we've had to put it into a completely different video of its own. Okay, so that's what we're going to go through here at this moment. So the city shortcode in its basest form is basically just cities. And what that will do, that will show you the 10 closest locations to the current location. Okay, and it will have percent location, which basically will be the actual location name will show. And it will show all of the cities. Doesn't matter what likes are there, they are where the major cities are not. Okay, so that's the easiest way to use it is just put that in the city shortcode in and you're good to go. Okay, so what can we do with the city shortcode? Well, what we can do is we can have first of all, we can have an account, we can go up or we can go down and see how many we're going to show. Obviously, 10 is the standard, so. We don't need if we're just going to do 10, but if we're going to do any other number, we do that. And as you see, it will change to the count to whatever it is. The other thing we can do is we've got various types of links. So the first one is a comma separated value link. So that's your normal location name, comma, location name, comma, and these are hyperlinked to that relevant location page. Then we have CSV titles which is basically exactly the same as the links, only there's no hyperlink on the actual uh, text. It's just a plain text. These, the CSV titles are good to make a copy and say drop that down to five and do a copy and put them in your meta description. You know, so you could go blah, blah, blah. We also cover and put that in there, then what that will do is it will put in the five closest locations to the current location. So it will show those locations in the actual meta description. So therefore, every page can be slightly different or every different location pages because they will all have five different city shortcodes in them or five different cities in them. So that's a good use for the CSVT one. Uh, the next one is obviously a list with links, and this is the one I use the most. Um, basically, it is a, just a, as you can see there, it's a UL, which is just an unordered list. And each of the location names is actually linked. So it's got a link going to the relevant pages. And that's where you'll be seeing in the bit of a demo thing I've got. You'll see me using this list with links. Okay, because I use that one, because if you use the CSV links, what you tend to find is that sometimes on mobile, Google will actually, if you put your site into Google Analytics and Google Search Console, you'll get a message in Search Console, which basically gives you a warning that you have links too close together for mobiles. So I always use a list with links. The other one you have is the list with titles, which is exactly the same. It's just a, an unordered list. But again, this time it has no, no links connected to the titles. It's just a list. And the other final one is for the schema builder. And basically this one is just creates an array of them. So you can put in the schema builder. Uh, we all, you know, also in this area and basically you put these in and it covers like service areas and it will actually fill them out for you so you don't need to type all the different areas in i don't think i've got oh i have got scheme input on here and have i got yes there you go i've got there i've got it in cities type equals array like area so cities type equals array counties equals none so basically just shows them all That's a type, 
link label. The standard is present location because that will give you the actual location name. But you can put something else in there. You can put spin text in there. The only problem with the spin text is, is obviously because the way it spins, it spins it once and then it's singing. So you will always get them out as the same thing, which is not on that one page. So you'll have like, so if you have, um, access control and the initial lock smith. What you will find is that you'll get all of access control will come out on one page, and then all, like all the rest will be residential locksmith on the next one, then access control on the next one. If you put a number of just blanks, it sometimes manages to break it and it actually does randomize it a bit better. But it's not something I tend to use. I tend to just use the location as it is. But obviously, if you want to use it, the options there. Obviously, you can put spin tax at the back, at the front, wherever. The major cities. Basically, within the database, you will have a number of cities which are marked as major cities. And I show you in another video where you can actually make your own major cities just by going into the locations database and actually checking a box which is major cities. So the default is it will show all cities within the actual area. You can also choose to only display major cities. If there's no major cities within the, the radius of the uh, what you're targeting, then basically it won't show anything. If there is major cities, then they will get shown. And the other one is obviously to exclude major cities. So that just works the opposite way around. If there is any major cities within the location, it won't show them. Minimum radius. As it says, this is the minimum radius you want to have. So you might, because normally it would start from zero and work its way out. You might decide I don't want to start from zero, I want to start from five. So you put five miles, so it will start from five miles out and then basically expand from there. The maximum radius is obviously the furthest you want to go. So you might start from five, but only want to go up to seven. So within that two mile radius, it will find all of the relevant locations and display them up to the number of count. So in this case will be five and it will just work off that way. This is good if you want to have separate lists uh, because you can have one list, which is like sort of, you know, up to five mile, one list from five mile outwards and that sort of thing. The counties. There's only, I've only installed one county on this one. But all you do is you either pick the county like that. You just type a couple of words in it or pick it. Or you can actually put, as it says there, percent. Keep it low. County. And it will only display locations which are within that county. So if you've got your website is actually bordering on a different county, and you only want to have people calling from a specific county, then you can limit to which locations are going to be shown by the county. Post type. Okay, magic to page is the default post type. So this is the type of post that this is going to be displayed on, or that it's going to display, I should say. So magic page is the default, because obviously we're going to link to the magic page with that there uh, within the, the area. We've got posts and pages. So it will link to the posts and the pages. So if there's a location within the, the distance on a post, it will link to it. If it's on a page, it will link to it. And you can also go in, let's just get rid of some of these. Rid of that. 
get rid of that and get rid of that so we can see so as you can see we've got post type there equals posts and pages now if you only want to link the pages then you just do oh sorry if you only want to link the posts then you delete the page if you only want to do the pages then you delete the post okay but the default is the magic page uh, the other one is to have the same type as current so if you're on a post it will only show post if you're on a page it will only show page and that and in the select groups this is only for pages and posts obviously because magic page doesn't have a group the default is obviously like leave blank for all groups you can pick same as the current page so whatever it's on it will it will pick that same group so if you group in access control then that's the only ones it will show then obviously you can pick a specific group access control residential locks with you're going to see these in action in a bit um, i'm just talking you through them for now because talking them through them is probably quite confusing but that's all you do you just select your group there like that and if you want to have more than one you can have more than one okay so that's the basics of the city short code so now let's have a look at it in action so in here i've split them up so basically i have got posts and pages pages only and post only so as you can see i've got cities type equals ul which basically means that we're going to have a a link which is in an unordered list i've got me type as posts and pages and then i've got me label as just location now in this one again i've got the unordered list but i've chose to have groups of residential locksmith post type is going to be posts and pages and the label is going to be location this one is access control posts and pages and location and this one is magic page okay so this one will show the magic page and on pages only i've just got page in there and the location and there i've got page and the location there i've got page and the location and obviously in posts only i've just got the post type equals post okay so this is me magic page so this is what it looks like i'll just refresh it so as you can see we've got all of them down this side so we've got that one there which is access control posts Horden. so that's a post we've got that one there which is Horden access control pages because it's a page and then we've got this one here which is residential locksmith pages Horden. i've got residential locksmith pages Horden, and i've got access control pages Horden. i forgot about that so that's why we've got three on there so then you've got uh the same again for shotton same again for little thorpe and then for easington Corey obviously we've hit the the limit of 10 3 6 9 10 so he's in Corey only gets one now obviously we've got residential locksmith here is the only one we saw so we've only got one of each and each one is residential locksmith residential locksmith residential locksmith residential locksmith etc etc and access control here now we've got access control i've actually got post and pages so this first one is access control post hoarden then this one is hoarden access control pages the same with shotten it's access control pages shotten and then access control post shotten and then you've got little thorpe control access posts and then you've got access control pages little thorpe and then the same for them too and then of course you've got your standard magic pages which is near me Horden, near me Shotton, near me Littlethorpe, Asian, blah 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 
Now for the pages only, for all pages, for Horden. I've got Horden Access Control, and then I've got Residential Locksmith pages Horden. And obviously the same for Shotton, Access Control, and Residential Locksmith. And then, of course, in the Residential Locksmith, I've only got the one, which was for Horden. And then I've only got the one for each of them, which is in the access control. And for posts, obviously, I've only got the one lots because I've only got one lots of posts. I've got Horden, Shotten, Littletop, Ace, and Corey, which are all going to access control post Shotten. And then over this side, you've got the same access control post Shotten. So that is basically how they work. Now, obviously, you wouldn't have them all like I have them on uh, one page. You'd have these split out, but you can narrow it down so that basically on a residential locksmith page, all you will be showing is residential locksmith uh, other pages. On an access control, you'll only be doing access control pages or posts. You can do pages or posts or both, uh, pages and posts or you can do pages or posts and put them all together. And like I say, you've got all your other options as well with the mileage and with your percentage and things like that. So if I change one of these, if I just go into here, just to show you, and if we change the, I'll just do the post one. If I go in and edit that one, I'm already in. So where you've got location, I can just put here, um, if we put that in, and that'll fit in there. I should have put it that. We should now have access control, hard and shot and little top. Yeah, we've got all of them. And like I say, you've got all of these other options, which you can have like sort of your minimum radius, your maximum radius, and obviously your major cities non-major cities okay hope that was useful catch you on the next video bye